Welcome back to The Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. I got to tell you, I love uh, the entrepreneurial spirit of this young man who's been on the program before. Glad I could get him on again, Graham Bensinger. Uh, he's got a show called In Depth with Graham Bensinger. Fascinating story that you need to recap before we get into our interview. Uh, kind of tell us that story that you began with last time, because frankly, that's that's really part of the narrative of what makes what you do in your show, your television show, so cool, in my opinion. So tell a little bit about that. Sure. Uh, so really uh, created the show uh, partly out of necessity. I'm uh, you know, 27 uh, back in uh, 2008, 2009, was hosting a series for NBC Sports and uh, th- you know, they slashed the funding for the series at the height of the reception. And, uh, here I am less figuring out what to do and really always had interest in being involved in the business end of things in addition to the on air work. Because whether it be a few years I worked for ESPN or the year I worked for NBC, I would do these long form sit down interviews with prominent athletic figures. You know, whether you're talking about a Mike Tyson or a Kobe Bryant or whoever. Um, but only a couple minutes of the interview would ever end up airing uh, on television. So I wanted to figure out how to create a platform to really have the ability to thoroughly and, uh, you know, adequately tell these stories. So uh, with creating the business behind this series, we now have a half hour weekly episodic series uh, that we're able to do that. And so, uh, you know, Signed on all the distribution partners, myself initially signed on the early advertisers, the production company, so on and so forth. Took a year and a half to put it together. Uh, the first three seasons of the series, we were on cable and digitally uh, online through Yahoo, and we're continuing those distribution platforms for this fourth season. But we've also added an over-the-air syndicated television network for this fourth season where the local ABC, NBC, CBS, or Fox station and markets around the country. Okay, uh, and, that's, and, that's, and that's during football season? Uh, I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what time of the year? You said what, what, what season did you say that, that that's the case? Uh, for this fourth season. So it's... Uh, a year airs year round once a week. Oh yeah. Okay, got it. And you are. It also appears online, but I assume it appears online after it's aired on TV. Uh, so clips from the interview air online at the same time it's airing on television. Uh, but then the full episode becomes available online after it's already aired on television. So, Graham, this is your own company, though, correct? It is, yes. And it took a year and a half, which I think is extraordinary. And you, I guess you hired a team. Did you hire a team to uh, approach? You know, and remember, this is a business show, so I'm, I'm intrigued by the business side of what you do. And again, at 27, all the more intrigued. Um, and so I'm assuming you hired a team to promote your show to local networks, to local stations. Uh, so... I mean, initially it was just me doing everything. When, you know, I started in March of 2009, it was a team of one. Uh, you know, slowly as the revenue and profit is grown, we've been able to hire more people. And now we have a team of 11 full time people, uh, you know, that, that are part of the company. Um, but in terms of signing on these local television stations, it was really myself and my business development lead. We spent like 220 days on the road this past year traveling around to these local markets where we'd meet with each of the four stations in um, the, each market in effort to sign on one station as part of the uh, over-the-air syndicated uh, television package. Right. Okay, and when did you begin signing on those stations? Uh, probably began about a year and a half ago. Uh, for the 2013-2014 broadcast season, which began in September. Um, and it continued up until this past summer, uh, you know, at which point we really shifted our focus to ad sales and sponsorship development on, on the business end of things. And then uh, mid-summer, we hired a director of distribution and affiliate relations, and then that person... Uh, picked up the uh, syndication and distribution efforts, and now it's you know a constant, uh, ongoing effort to continue signing on stations. We're at about 82 million households, 71% of the country covered, 
so, you know, we've made significant progress, but still really have a long way to go in effort to, you know, get complete distribution. Saturation, yeah. Saturation uh, uh, takes time. It really does. But that's, an, that's incredible. That's an incredible level of access. Um, how, how many uh, cities are you in that are not cable? In other words, are HD or uh, regular broadcast channels? Sure. Uh, you know, I, we're in like 58 million households through over-the-air stations. Um, I don't know how many uh, DMAs that equates to, but, you know, I think they're like 114 million households or something like that. So we're in, um, you know, about half or a little more than half of the country through over-the-air stations. So are you, um, when you present to these local markets, are you doing a split on how the uh, commercials are, are uh, distributed? They get a certain number, you get a certain number, or is it uh-huh. different? You know, are the terms different in each city based on what you have to do? No, it's consistent across the board. I mean, these are uh, you know standard barter relationships with all of our distribution partners for the most part. Where there's some split of uh, you know the advertising time, um, you know, and then beyond that. You know, like when we're doing distribution deals internationally, as we have a, a handful of international television partners, there are uh, international or there there are licensing fees that they'll pay us for rights to the programming. Graham Bessinger is my guess. Uh, his website, G-R-A-H-A-M, is Graham Bensinger, B-E-N-S-I-N-G-E-R dot com. You're as much a entrepreneurial genius, in my opinion, as you are a sports genius, and I have had a chance now to review some of your programs, and I'm actively looking to uh, watch your program every week. I'm, I'm very impressed by, by what you've done. What's your goal, uh, I, you know, in terms of a se- w- w- how many episodes is a season for you? So it's uh, 26 originals with each episode then being repeated once in a later date for 52 weeks of programming. I think the goal on my end uh one is to, you know, slowly increase the volume of programming that we're producing. And then two, just to capture the largest audience possible with each episode. And so that's, you know, an ongoing effort. Um, and we're kind of slowly making baby steps, uh, you know, in that direction. So I've wa- you know watching your episodes I'm amazed at how your guests drop their guard you know and they and you get a level of of I, I, the word that comes to mind Graham is uh, intimacy uh you know and it looks like you're doing it in their locations on their tor- territory I find it very intriguing uh, when you go to do these interviews are you flying alone to do them bringing a camera or do you have someone that comes with you talk a little bit about how that looks Sure so we fly a team of uh, five people each interview for the sit down and uh they're you know originally when we first started with the first season they were uh two two camera shoots uh this season they're uh six camera shoots and uh you know due to kind of the benefit of technology it makes it very easy to travel with six cameras because we travel uh with these really small cameras where you can carry all six video cameras just on the airplane in a little carry-on. And so it makes uh, traveling to these interviews and the actual production of these interviews much more affordable than they would have been, you know, even seven years ago. Um, so traveling with a, a team of five, six camera shoots, and, um, you know, that that's that's basically it. Graham, I think it's fascinating. I love what you do. I, I, I appreciate you letting me uh, pick your brain and learn more about uh, the business side as well, because this is a business show. And I'm telling you, there's a lot of entrepreneurs out there, and I'm, and I'm telling those entrepreneurs to check out GrahamBensinger.com. Learn more about him. Learn from him business-wise, but check out these interviews. They're some of the most intriguing and well-done interviews out there. There's no, I'm not at all surprised that you are on the map like you have uh, become, and I only expect it to grow uh, in the years to come. Are you out of St. Louis area? Uh, I am, yes. Yeah. Uh, I might come out there and visit and see what you got going. Do you actually have studios there, or is it all your uh, editing? Is, is this what you do there? So the uh, 
uh, post-production, the editing is done out of uh, St. Louis, and then the actual uh, physical production, as you know, we travel. You go, to, you go do it. Booth, you go down. Yeah, so we've been everywhere from Houston for George Foreman to, you know, the Philippines, New Zealand, and China. So really travel. Do you have anything um, in Houston over. or Dallas coming up soon? I. Uh, we, oh, we, we actually we have uh, Dallas uh, coming up. Uh, when, when in Dallas? For, uh, 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 big time uh, athlete. F- fingers crossed. Uh, actually, that, that we get it. But um, you know, if, if it happens, I, I will let you know. We actually just this past week we had uh, Tony Romo. Uh, you know, and he was the episode that aired. Uh, I saw it. It was an amazing, Sunday very, after, very good job. Uh, Sunday hey, night football. My producer's freaking out. I'm, I'm like two minutes past my time to let you go, but frankly, you're a great interview, so I want to keep it going. You're not only a great interviewer, but you're a great interviewee. Graham Bensinger, GrahamBensinger.com. We're going to have you back on again, my friend. Sounds great. Thanks so much, Kevin. Keep up the great work. When I come back, much more for you. I do want to remind you, best content here shows up over there at USAToReview.com, and you're listening to The Price of Business.